Hey guys, welcome to Crazy Days. Today I thought I'd show you a little bit about this greenhouse that we don't show that much. It is on the back of our barn, and I'm going to show you a little bit about what's going on and why it's not mm, in use, but yet, hey, it's flourishing. It's crazy. I'm really shocked of every time I come out here at the plants in the degree heat that we have. All right. Inside the door, Danny has this system set up that is run through from the guttering at the top over the barn here. So the water comes in, comes down, and we have a barrel of water that I water with. He has this set up so that we can water everything, turn it on here, and it waters all the pots. But all these pots are empty right now, and we're not using them. We're not using any of the trays, and it has polycarbonate panels on it. Now, the... I guess you'd say dust, the pollen has settled on these panels and they need cleaning because they're kind of yellow, dullish color, but they still work. The sun is coming through that. We have that window open, but we also have screen over it. But this is what I want to show you. These plants are doing crazy for, no amount, for the amount of heat and the water it gets up to over 120 something degrees maybe 130 in here during the day we leave the windows and the doors open but moringa is still flourishing all the way it loses leaves it puts on new ones i was going to move this one this year and did not get it done so we're going to let it overwinter we're going to cut it all back overwinter it and take it out to the cabin next year because this was to be my cabin moringa Danny planted these two, and I'm not sure what it was. He's getting them started, so there's two, about four in that one. And I don't remember what kind of plants, but they're growing, but the heat gets them. You see how they do when it gets too hot? And then they'll put on new growth. So I'm trying to keep them alive till he plants these. I have turmeric here. This was supposed to be sold at the uh, gathering. It was a little bitty plant. You see how it's doing? But that's not even it. Look at this pineapple, y'all. I don't even know if this does it justice. This pineapple is tall as I am. Look at it. It's got two pieces to it now. And I am right here. This is how tall I am. So it's getting as tall as I am. See? And it hasn't put a baby on yet. Inside, it's just still growing. And it has a second piece, but look at that. Look at this. Four o'clocks. Okay, we let a few seed get in here by accident. Let me show you something with the four o'clocks. Look at this stem. This is my thumb. Look at this stem. That is crazy with the four o'clocks. Then I have another moringa that I planted just a piece of the other moringa and it came out. So now we have a second moringa that I can put out. But look at the aloes. They are just going crazy. I've got some potted. We've got new babies in there that's got to be potted. But look how big. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So the aloes are doing great. Look at this, another four o'clock in here that's coming out. And again, look at the stem. You see the stems? Huge, and it's fixing to bloom, it looks healthy. It doesn't get watered about twice a week, and it's doing great. Look at the Malabar spinach, it's beautiful. It tastes good, you, these are the size leaves you want. So I'm leaving my Malabar, so this is the freshest Malabar I have on the whole place right now. It's come out. It's even starting to bloom a little. It's just taking over. And here I have some more turmeric. And Malab that's where the Malabar is and the turmeric. I'm saving this so that I can plant it in my new greenhouse. Now, we don't have anything else going in here right now. Except for these. But I just thought these four o'clocks are beautiful. And the stem was what just really got me. Plus, you can't deny that's a huge, huge pineapple, guys. <laughs> it 
Isn't that awesome? So, just five minutes of my day in the older greenhouse on the back of the barn. Thank you guys from Crazy Days.